At the start of every AFL season, the many out-of-contract players are revealed to us nervous footy fans, which not only provides more for us to talk about, but it also gives us an idea of who could be on the move come the end of the year. Today I am simply going to highlight the 10 free agents that I am most intrigued by, not just the big fish, but some names also not being talked about enough either. A potential captain of the Adelaide Crows is one of the most talked about free agents for 2023, at least down south that is. Tom Dude is an incredibly underrated player and a vital member of the Crows list, so if there is even a slight chance clubs think he is gettable, they will swoop. I would be willing to bet that all Victorian clubs have at least monitored his situation, seeing as he was originally from the state. Duday is a great defender and still only 25, making him one of the younger free agents I'll talk about, so he is a very precious and rare commodity, a headstrong, versatile backman approaching the peak of his physical state. I think Crows fans are expecting him to stay, but watch this space regardless. Now, Mason Cox isn't exactly a Darcy Parrish or Ben Mackay. He isn't the type of player to warrant attention because of his standout performances. In fact, I doubt clubs would even be circling to secure his signature. But with Collingwood hoping to stay up the top of the ladder, the 32-year-old spot on the list may be questioned, and there are clubs that could certainly benefit from some ruck or forward depth, even just for a season or two. We all saw how good Cox was at his best. His prelim against Richmond was one of the craziest performances I've ever seen, but it's so rare to see something like that, so it would be a big risk for a club to come in and snap him up for a year, but you never know, crazy things have happened. Essendon fans will be hoping, if not praying that their club avoids the depths of the ladder in 2023, mostly so they can tempt their stars to re-sign, the most important being Darcy Parrish. Parrish has completely turned his game around in the last two seasons, growing from an almost case of wasted potential into one of the most prolific ball winners in the comp, meaning he is now set to be on the big, big bucks. Parrish signed his last contract in 2021, I should mention he was hesitant to do so, choosing to wait until the team found on-field success, so if the Bombers play like they did in 2022, it could be a very, very interesting silly season at the hangar. Sorry Bomber fans, but there is more because one of the many South Aussie Dons is out of contract for the first time, Mason Redmond. Redmond is a beloved figure down at Tullamarine. He has won multiple club awards, voted by players, staff and trainers. He is actually viewed as a leader and if not for merit, maybe in the distant future a smoky for captaincy. But there is that go home factor. Could Port Adelaide or Adelaide tempt the dashing defender to move? It seems unlikely this trade period. Redmond seems happy in Victoria and is a very important member of his club, but you never know. Minds can change and South Aussie clubs would even love a slight chance to grab at this fantastic player. One of the most enticing free agents to be available come the free agency period could be the GWS tall utility Harry Himmelberg. Himmelberg could be so many things. He has rarely had a set position. Clubs could utilise him in so many different ways and that is what makes him such a valuable list member. And as we know, GWS have had money issues for quite some time. So if another club approaches the 26 year old with extra cash, his home club may not be able to match it. Himmelberg is one of the men I think could be talked about a lot this season. He is a missing piece type player. He could fill a bunch of different list holes, so definitely watch this space. From one of the highest profile free agents to a name set to fly under the radar, here I have the important Melbourne role player Alex Neil Bullen. Neil Bullen is a fine player who is a victim of featuring at such an incredible club. His work often goes unnoticed to those who don't keep a close eye on the Ds, but other clubs would be well aware of his importance and may try and lure him away from Melbourne or in Port or Adelaide's case, maybe even back to his home state. Neil Bullen seems to like life in Melbourne so don't be surprised if he is quick to sign the dotted line, but don't be surprised either if some clubs try and tempt him with a move and most probably a hefty pay rise. It has taken a while to get here, but we are at the player who I believe to be the greatest talking point of the video, Ben Mackay. Ben Mackay is proving to be one of the potential stars of his position. He is only 25, like his Coleman medal winning brother, but his name isn't as big as his brother's because, let's be realistic, he plays at the Cellar Dweller Kangaroos. He is the type of player who deserves success and with how North are shaping up, he may never earn it. So now that he has the chance to leave through free agency, he could well decide to do so, move away from the bottom of the ladder and join a team that needs some key defensive firepower. I expect clubs to come knocking, why wouldn't they? He is one of the best defensive options. Just imagine him teaming up with players who can actually lend a hand. Camden McIntosh is soon to be 29, featuring at a premiership hopeful club. All signs realistically point towards the consistent wingman to stay at Punt Road, but you can never count out a move in the AFL. McIntosh is the perfect fit for a Gold Coast or Hawthorne an experienced, probably fairly cheap option who is winding down the last couple of years of his career. He can add valuable leadership to a young side that needs it. Richmond may not require a player like him because they already have plenty, but McIntosh could be huge in helping kids develop somewhere else. He is an unrestricted free agent, I believe, which means he can now move wherever he wants. That is, of course, if he wants to. If Richmond are back up the top again, he may want to stay and win himself a third premiership. From Richmond to St Kilda, we 
we look at Jade Gresham, who has been linked with moves away more than once before. He is a player that seems to promise the world, but never quite can. He was a first round draft pick, a rising star nominee. He seems to always feature on those early breakout player lists or videos and either disappoints or gets injured. The guy might genuinely need a change of scenery if he wants to reach his potential. Many have seen him as a possible All Australian with the skill set he has, but he has only played 32 games from his last three seasons. And even though he was impressive in 2022, it's not what he could have been. Just think about Gresham at a team with a culture like Geelong or Richmond. You never know, he could take it upon himself to take that extra step by stepping through the doors. And finally, we end with a player much like Camden McIntosh, Bailey Williams. Williams is a tough, unheralded defender at the Dogs. He is consistent, he puts his body on the line, he is experienced despite only just having played 100 games, but he is exactly the type of player a premiership contending team could use on their list, and unfortunately, the Dogs seem to be losing grip of that title. Keep in mind, Williams has not won a premiership. He wasn't a part of that 2016 side, so if a team like Richmond, let's say, or maybe a Brisbane, come knocking for an extra bit of grit in defence, would he say no? It's a tough one to read. The guy clearly loves the dogs. He's had offers before. It's an interesting free agent position and also the last player I will discuss. Those were the 10 free agents I am most intrigued by this season. Let me know who you are keeping an eye on and subscribe to see more videos like this.